in this video, take a tail look at Schindler 5500. So then, it's the first time I actually had a real proper look at a Schindler 5500, because there's not many about. Most companies go for the Schindler 3300, which is just like a 5500, but much, much cheaper. And when I was talking to a Fiss and Krupp twin engineer, he described the Schindler 3300 as the tin can lift, because it's got hardly any metal work to it. The 3300 is just like a very thin bit of metal makeup lift cab, no chassis, no supporting metal, the 500 is very much the same design but built to a higher spec. It does have a chassis but only a baby chassis. Although it's built to a higher spec than the 3300, I was thinking of you'll get a full proper lift with a 5500. You don't. It's still fairly cheap. It's built actually to the same spec as the Schindler Eurolift. And the Eurolift's a really good lift. So although saying that motor-wise, I don't think it's as good as the Eurolift, but a lift cab and the baby chassis, they much look like the sort of thing you got on a Eurolift. It's like to Eurolift spec, both the newer technology is used in the 3300. And although saying it, I actually prefer the Eurolift. The Schindler 5500 has a choice of two voices. The Schindler 3300 voice, which sounds a bit shit. Ground floor for its floor announcements. Then on its direction announcements, which you don't always hear in England. Only if you listen to hear it, it goes, Elevator is going up. No, it's a lift. Fucking idiots. But you don't have to have Schindler 3300 voice on it. You can choose for the Eurolift voice, which is what this lift has, luckily. Lift is going up. Far nicer. Has a lot of character to that voice. So let's have a look at Schindler 5500. I have a lot of mixed opinion about it. It's nicer. Got a proper chassis, but all of the defects you have on the 3300 are still there. The motor is sitting on the tracks. The tracks take the entire weight of the lift. And the motor does seem slightly better supported than the Eco disc, but it's not as good as the Euro lift. And the motor itself is bigger than the 3300 motor. Now, the 3300 motor is so fucking small. But the 5500 motor is actually a nice sized motor, but not as good as the Eurolift motor. Because the Eurolift motor was oversized proper powerful motor. Well in other ways it does look a lot more modern. The interior looks a lot lot nicer but the logic oh dear is locked down absolutely completely. So to do anything to a lift including fault finding you have to have the maintenance gadget. So you're very much locked down to have Schindler maintaining it. I still a bit mixed about 5500. It's just similar things to the 3300 such as the way the it has belt cables. Although belt cables are bigger it's still got the same sort of clamping system as the 3300 has at the top of the shaft which I think is rather pathetic. Although, again, it is a bigger, stronger version. It's like they've taken all the different features of a 3300 and just made it bigger for 5500. So it's a lot bigger and better built, but it still has the same things about the design, which I don't like. Let's take a look. Lift in Feynman's operation. Returning to main floor. Lift for Feynman's use only. Door closing. Final Feynman. We want. <laughs> floor 8. Door opening. Door closing. Oh yeah, for it, Quality's better. Lights on because it's fire though, because the shaft light turned on this one, but sadly we couldn't surface one. It's oh, oh this looks dodgy. So that's free fall. That's inspection. You've got that inspection control there, which is is all right, it's an inspection control. You've got fuses, that My first 5500 surf. Look at the old chassis. Well, it's better than 3300 because it's got. What do you think of that chassis? It's not exactly the world's strongest chassis, is it? No, it's not like it's like a baby chassis. But I wasn't expecting that. Motor's impressive. Look, that looks a bit more like a proper motor, except it's sitting. On the tracks again, it's been It still looks track. dirt cheap, it didn't look as good as a cone. I'd no. say it's just, the quality is better than the worst. It's sort of, I'd say it's a sort of medium ish quality. Oh, it still looks kind of shit, look at it. Well, I don't like the way it's sitting on the tracks. What I do like is how the doors they line up. So you can't, you know how the cone, you have a gap so people, when they're walking in, they can see up. Yeah. Yeah, in this one, no, they can't see up. 
stage rather than if no one can carry on the lift. It's got that sort of thing which I'm not quite sure how that works. Well, can we set it down and lick it while we're going down? <laughs> it might test you. Well, oh, it's got these horrible things. Actually, that's better than normal shinder ones. Normal shinder ones are tiny. That's, that's quite reasonable. It's better, it's better than others, but obviously it's not as good as... I think we should just switch all lifts to our own, don't you? Well, this lift is meant to be a continuation of Eurolift compared to 3300, which is deliberately cheap. This should be the same quality as Eurolift. What do you think? I disagree. You think it's, it's not as good as Eurolift? I think it's as good as Eurolift. Yeah. Motors are sort of the same size. No, actually, no, Eurolifts have massive motors, don't they? No, Eurolift motors are bigger than that. And it looks like... Really, look at the, 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 uh, the outside panelling. It looks really cheap and tashy. Can you drive it up and have a look? Yeah, no, I don't think this is good. No, no, it's got, look at metal, it's got quite a bit of... Yeah, look at that heat sink, shit. That's got quite a bit of metal work on it. Somewhat, they've got VF join there. It's sort of, in some ways it's quite nice, but some ways it isn't. Oh look, it's still attached by clamps, 2 to 1. This is like 3 300, it's attached by clamps. Why is this but it's a, it's a better clamp, it's better quality. That is better quality than 3 300, but it's still that little thin pole holding up the lift. So that pole's taking a quarter of the weight of everything, including the... F so imagine a full lift full of people and a safety brake. That's the maximum force it has to take. You've got 2 to 1 cabling, so 2 to 1 cabling so the cable's taking half the weight. That comes up to there, you've got two sets of two to one cabling, meaning I still ones? think that could be a bit thicker. Oh, they still got these clampy things. And if you go, shh, the lift falls down. Let's do it. I don't know, it's still a bit wobbly, isn't it? I don't like it. Yeah, look, I don't like it. It's, 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 it's a 3300 built to a higher spec, but it's still got the same defects as a 3300. It actually does look like it's better quality in the way of the, the uh, uh, Sasha, you know, all, all those parts of them. Yeah, it does wobble, doesn't it? It does not. That gutter looks well cheap. Yeah. Should we? Top of the lift. Let's try it. No inspection. I don't like the go button not being in the middle. Stop. I don't like the inspection. It looks really cheap. It looks like a horrible yellow in the vehicle. I don't like that shade of yellow. That's how it was. That's how it was. That's how it was. That's it. That's a weird way the roller's working. Back in our fire lift, waiting especially for us. You didn't have to hold a button. Okay, no, I, I got that's, that's dodgy fire mode. That's how we like it. Should we try safety? It's on fire mode, so it might be a bit dodgy doing safety. No, it's locked. It's locked at the top. 